yes, the weather may make it feel like spring, but it's late February, so it's technically still winter. So we're going to start with hockey this weekend as the Black Knights take on the AIC Yellow Jackets in a Thursday-Saturday home-and-home doubleheader. The Black Knights already locking up home ice in the first round and a first round bye in the Atlantic Hockey Tournament. Brian Riley's going to hope to use this weekend to try out a couple of new things and get some key players some rest as they head towards the playoff in a few weeks' time. We'll, we'll definitely get a couple of guys rest here uh, this weekend, but, but really it, it, it's about every weekend trying to be better than you were the weekend before, and regardless of who you're playing. Uh, we know that AIC will present uh, a huge challenge this weekend. Um, they've had some time to rest. You know, they had a bye weekend. They had an off weekend uh, last weekend. So I'm sure that they'll be hungry to play a game and really, really skilled team that uh, if you give them a lot of space out there, they can make you pay. So uh, looking forward to playing two good uh, games against a real good hockey team. In addition to hockey on Saturday, there are a lot of other teams home, including the men's and the women's tennis team. The men are coming off a one-on-one -one weekend last weekend out in Michigan when they fell to Michigan State and they defeated Air Force. Jim Poling says he'd like to see a little bit more improvement out of the doubles as if they're able to win that doubles, then they only need to win three singles matches out of the six to get the match. Well, against Michigan State, we didn't play very good doubles. But the next day against Air Force, we played great doubles. So if we continue improving our doubles, that way we can start out 1-0 in the match. We only have to win three singles. So doubles is what we're going to work on today, and hopefully we'll be ready by uh, Friday. The women's tennis team also home this weekend. They're coming off a loss to UMass, but before that, they were on fire, rolling on all cylinders, rolling off multiple 7-0 victories. Army's going to look to go back to what they were doing in those matches to get a win this weekend. The team's been working really hard all season, and, you know, we have a lot of parity. I mean, I, I think from 1 to 12, I mean, we're, we're pretty even and good level of play, and I think the players are doing a good job of pushing themselves and supporting each other. So I'm happy where we are, and, you know, i got to give UMass some credit. I mean, they're a good team. They played well, and um, I thought we played well against them. It's just, you know, they were the better team that day. It'll be senior day for the gymnastics team as they host a tri-meet against Springfield and William & Mary. Last time the Black Knights were in action at home, it was against Navy as they put up their best score of the year in the star match. They're going to look to continue that momentum and throw up a similar score to help them with qualifications for the NCAA tournament, which is less than two months away. And oh, by the way, it's here at West Point this year. If we can score right around the same, even a couple points less, that's going to be fine for us. Uh, we just got to continue to push the envelope. We've added some difficulty into the routines, more so than we had at the Navy competition. Uh, so I feel pretty good. You know, I feel like the guys are definitely handling the additional load, and uh, so far they look pretty good. The women's lacrosse team, after a 2-0 start, is going to look to continue that momentum as they take on St. Bonaventure on Saturday. Now, the Black Knights and head coach Kristen Skyra have seen a lot of improvement from last year's team to this year's team, even though this year's team is still very young when they're running about five to seven players that are freshmen in the lineup at any given time. The Black Knights have seen a lot of improvement in their stick skills, and that's helped them to the 2-0 start, which they hope to push to 3-0 this weekend. They've, they've done such a great job of managing expectations of their first college games and, you know, playing against opponents who they, they aren't familiar with. They've done such a great job, and, you know, we, we're, we're really fortunate to have two of them highlighted as Patriot League Rookie of the Weeks the past two weeks with Maddie Burns, our, one of our goalies, and then Sammy Stewart in the midfield for us last week. So um, we have a lot of... Um, a lot of youth all over the field. You know, we've got a starting freshman on attack, we've got starting freshmen on low defense, and we've got four freshmen running the midfield for us. So they've done such a great job so far. And the women's basketball team will round out the weekend here at West Point, their second to last home game of the season before the playoffs start. They're going to take on Lehigh, a team they saw back in the beginning of the Patriot League season, which was last year in 2016. Now, Lehigh, Coach Dave McGarity says, is not what their record indicates as Lehigh towards the bottom of the league, but has a lot of talented players on this team that the Black Knights are going to have to watch out for. I think uh, that's a great point. We, 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 didn't, we played them in 2016, so uh, they are uh, a very young team, and, and they have had their ups and downs this season. Uh, but I, I don't think their record is an indication of, um, of how dangerous they are. They, they've got, I think, some of the best freshmen in the league. Um, you know, their freshmen don't have the gaudy stats that say uh, Lauren Mattis at Holy Cross or Stephanie Cars at Loyola, um, you know, or, or even the Irving girl from Boston U who, who had a terrific game against us. Um, and, and we'll see her again on Wednesday. But, 
it, it, it's just that they're very balanced and they uh, they have tremendous balance in their scoring and their rebounding and they have good size. So we're going to have to make sure that, you know, we, we did not play particularly well uh, up in Bethlehem back, you know, in, in January or December. It was late December, but, you know, they're, they're a team that um, – it, it can can come in and, and they have some good wins on their resume. Now, in addition to all these teams at home, a lot of teams in action on the road as well. The Black Knights softball team will be in action in their second tournament of the spring. Baseball, their second weekend of the season as well. They're going to go down to Duke for a three-game series. The golf team's in action in their first tournament of the spring season. Well, the swimming team will take place in two tournaments, the Army Invite and the Georgia Last Chance Invitational, as they look to get more times to qualify individual swimmers for the NCAA tournament. The track team, after competing in the Patriot League Championships last weekend, will look to do the same thing in their Fast Track Last Chance Invitational, again aimed to get runners and throwers qualified for the NCAA tournament. And the men's lacrosse team will take on nationally ranked Syracuse on Saturday, while the men's basketball team will conclude their regular season at Lehigh. That's going to do it for your weekend preview. For Night Vision, I'm Zach Daly.